Hey guys, we're up at the crack of dawn for an 11 hour ride to Wisconsin. What are we doing in Wisconsin? We're gonna fish the tributaries of Lake Michigan for steelhead and brown trout. Now, through our research and through talking to the guys we're fishing with, these are a fish of a lifetime that give you a fight of a lifetime. Now we're, we're not going for numbers. We're going for, you know, 15, 20 bites and hopefully we're hooking up. Uh, when you, apparently when you get these fish on, they give you one heck of a ride. Now the weather's gonna be super cold and Wisconsin has got record ice already. Uh, we just heard, just got off the phone last night with the guys there and, and they're telling us 10 to 12 inches of ice on the tributaries that we're gonna be fishing, where we're gonna be fishing, which is more than they usually get in a whole year in these places. So it's gonna be an interesting, fun time. Like I said, it's, it doesn't sound like a lot of numbers, but it sounds like when you hook up, you better hang on. We'll see you there. Addiction, the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. What happens when an addiction cannot be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet. The rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. This is Fish Addictions TV. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear and the rest of our fine sponsors. Up early, going to Wisconsin. We're going to fish the tributaries of Lake Michigan for brown trout and steelhead. It's a long trip, 11 hours from home. It's gonna be a blast, I know it. We've got high expectations. We've heard a lot about it. We've done a lot of research. We're off to Wisconsin. You know, it's kind of a cool story how we ended up here in Wisconsin, fishing through the ice, these browns and steelhead. Josh and his son set out on an adventure this fall in chase of these steelhead and met these two great guys, Jeff and Adam. And through their adventures together on the river, first Adam puts Tabor, Josh's son, on his first steelhead of his life and then proceeds to invite us here for a winter through the ice, steelhead and brown trout action. And uh, when that happened, we could not say no. Just got to Sheboygan, fishing steelhead in the morning. And uh, it's cold out here too. We just came from North Dakota, negative 39 I think was the low this morning. 15 degrees here tomorrow, heat wave baby. Let's get it. 
You know, one of the coolest experiences that's something I've never experienced on the tributaries of Lake Michigan is the opportunities you have to get in just different locations. We're downtown one place, under a bridge in the next place, in someone's backyard in the next place. It's just a super cool experience. So to catch these migratory fish in the tributaries, the system we're using is what's called an automatic fisherman. It's an interesting device that will actually set the hook. It's kind of like a tip up, but you set the hook on a rod at the same time. Yes, yeah, it's, it's basically about a two-step system. You got a rod and a base unit. So we have everything already rigged the way we want it. We'll just show you how to set an automatic fisherman up. You have your hammer, you know, your indicator, that goes up, you grab your rod, bend it down until you feel bottom. You'll see, see the line went incredibly slack there so you know you're on bottom. Put your last eye in this trigger mechanism and then the line just simply goes over the top of this which enables when the fish pulls down, it touches on this trigger and they're done. You got your timing bobber. Basically what it is, it allows the fish to get some time to bite the bait without feeling anything. So as they I mean, start swimming away with it, yep. that, that basically puts some resistance on the line or some weight. Yes. So the line, once the line straightens out, then it trips the trigger, sets the hook. Yep, and it's game on. We got one on. You do not want to set the hook on these. Let's get that off of there. Pick it up and there he is. These fish are crazy powerful. Uh, me and my oldest son have been chasing them all fall. And if you've seen any, any of our stuff on Facebook, they're just powerhouses. Uh, they live out in Lake Michigan. Ooh, I gotta, gotta catch my breath. We just ran over here. This is our farthest rod away from our setup. Here it is. Oh, here we go, man. Here we go, baby. Oh, nice, wow. nice. <laughs> Look at that. Nice Arley hen. Woo! Waited all morning for her. This is one of the different strains. They're called yep. an Arley. They actually yep. spawn in the fall. Yep. And like Jeff was saying, we're using a uh, spawn and the fresher is the better. Definitely. This is the first fish of the day. We're actually going to hang on to this one for yep. bait. Just, Just that, thick, chunky, that. chunky fish. And that's not even a real big one. No. And that fish fought like a champ the whole way. 10 minutes? Yeah, Easily. absolutely. Very yep. cool. Yep. Very cool. Please stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. At Glacier, our goal is to build only the highest quality ice fishing shelters, constructed of premium materials that will provide lasting value and years of trouble-free service. See for yourself how our attention to detail and never-ending commitment to product improvement sets a Glacier Ice House apart from the competition and makes a Glacier Ice House the ultimate way to play. For more information, visit GlacierIceHouse.com. Manitoba, Canada's heart beats.
When you plan a trip like this, you're always hoping for nice warm temperatures. Well, what did we get? We got cold temperatures. We got finicky fish, not as aggressive of fish. We're fishing in that shallower water. It's tougher to find a lot of those active fish. So we did a lot of bouncing around and small little moves was really the big key. So Adam, what's the difference, you, you know, sitting here doing this, you guys talk about fresh fish, fish that have been in the river a while. How can we tell the difference? Uh, color, the, how shiny they are, how, how dull, the later, the longer they're in the river, the uh, more dark camouflage they'll get. Blend in with the bottom, I think. Uh, when they're in the lake, they're just chrome silver. That's a brown. Oh, that's a nice little brown. Brown trout. There you go. That's nice. my first Michigan Lake Tributary trout. First trout ever for me. Awesome. It's a nice fish. Sweet. So yesterday, I'm battling a fish, uh, making runs back and forth, up the river, down the river, side to side in the hole. Man, I just, I, I just looked down, looked down and all I could see was that, was that rod let loose. And I just gave it a little bit when I came up to it, you know, I didn't, I didn't rush up and just try to yank it out of it real quick. You know, it was just, I watched the rod and they would just happen just a little bit. We're gonna work them from here down to the hole. Yep, yep, okay? yep, yep. Never higher than here. Okay, gotcha. And whenever you get a chance to reel, reel. Right. You're doing great. And I, we got it just about to the top of the hole. Doing a great job. It's almost like you've done this before. And snap goes the line. It's fishing. I was so disappointed. I tried my best to keep my cool. All I could do was walk away, just think about things, you know, over and over in my head and, and try to just regain focus again and not try to let it affect me or anybody else with the day that we were having. Out here, speed is everything. The new Eskimo rocket runs fast, spins fast, cuts fast. Engineered from the ground up with an engine designed to run at optimal RPMs, giving you its fullest potential within its power band. The bulletproof all-metal transmission is geared to spin fast. The precision-based cutting head effortlessly cuts fast. Nobody sells more powered ice augers than Eskimo. Get assurance. Get reliability. Get Eskimo. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyper Glide and Hyper Rattle series, to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all new professional Gray Tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters is the number one ice fishing headquarters. We have everything you need from today's firearms to the latest fishing electronics and the hottest footwear and outdoor apparel. We only carry the best brands at the best prices. Have a question? No problem. We have the most knowledgeable team in the business ready to answer your call personally seven days a week. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or touching your screen with our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can get you gear when you need it fast. Cast or blast, Reeds has the best service, best advice, and best price guaranteed. fishing make your own luck you know never fishing these trout before you don't really know what to expect when they pop out of the hole
Josh and those guys, they fish these things a lot, so they kind of know what to expect. When that trout came out of the hole and there's just beautiful colors. Pulling pretty good? Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys oh, yeah. Head, head shaking. It almost takes your breath away because it's like nothing we have in the Dakotas or Minnesota. Yeah, it's no, no joke. These fish are absolutely zero joke. No. I mean, you get, they told us on the way down here when we were coming that if you hook up to a good one, you're gonna know it because it's gonna run, seem like you got control of it, run again, get control of it, and it's running again for the fifth time. And it feels like you got it, like you're right there. There it is, there it is, and all of a sudden it'll take off, it'll right scream here. again. All right, here we go. Yeah. Woo! Oh nice. my lord, chrome. let me get my you hands on that. Cannot beat that thing. chrome there. That is a fresh fish, boys. That's not been in the river. Oh. Yet. Oh, <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish. On top of the ice. Unbelievable cool. fight. Unbelievable yeah. fight these fish have. You guys aren't lying at all. We've been putting a lot of time and effort in yeah. for this fish. Yep. But it makes it that much sweeter. Doesn't it? Oh my gosh. We don't have these opportunities back in North Dakota, you know, to catch a fish like this. And I, I really appreciate you guys inviting us down here and. and this is what we've been working for. Yeah. This is awesome. It, this is awesome. Let's get her unhooked and yep. and uh, get her back. Get her back. With as difficult as it was finding some of these fish, especially with dealing with these variables, we caught some of the smaller fish, which was nice to see, but it also kept us motivated to keep after these big fish and keep going and keep covering more ground. That thing just snapped and I ran over as fast as I possibly could. And yeah, just kept that tension right on the rod, you know? Oh, there we go. There you go. Nice little brown. There you go. Nice. There you go. Cool. Not a huge one, but you know, a nice little fish. Good little fighter. Pure chrome. He hasn't been in the river very long at all. That's a really nice fish. Yeah. Yep. Nothing wrong with him. That's what we're after. A little bit bigger. We'll probably put this one back, huh? See if yeah. we can get a little bit bigger one, huh? Yep, yes, Always sir. good to put them back in. You do play the waiting game a little bit, waiting for these fish, and you have a little bit of downtime, so it's always a good time to, to hang out with the guys, maybe throw a football around, uh, grill out a little bit. Just those things that you do while you're fishing just makes the experience even that much better. hooked up with a really nice male brown and when Carrie had said that this was a good fish all of a sudden a smile went from ear to ear my eyes dang near popped out of my head yep she's getting close you ready so fish addictions TV came out here this this week here and we fished with them a little bit I wasn't able to fish with them the first couple days because I was actually working for my business the automatic fisherman and uh, we were able to get on some fish today. Okay, ready? Are you ready? It's coming up. It's a huge brown. This is, this is a monster brown. This is like a, a world-class, like probably 20, 18 to 20 pound fish from what I gathered out of it. I was so excited. I didn't really know what to do. All I was thinking about was, please, 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 get this fish up the hole. <laughs> Oh man! Wow! Check oh that out. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That's a freaking mon. That's a nice Holy brown. A little bit smaller than I thought. That is something like I dreamed of probably right there. Probably 13 pounds. Oh my goodness! It was one of the best experiences I've had, and and I'm, and I'm so glad I got, was able to come down and have this opportunity. Oh, look at that! God, that is a pretty fish. That's a big fish. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at that tail. Now that's a male? That's a male, yes, because okay. you can tell, you can tell the, the hook jaw in the front there. With the kite there? Yeah, with a little kite. Okay. And you can see the hook set perfectly right in the corner of the mouth. Wow. And I'll get this out of here real quick. Oh my goodness. And we can let her go. And that's really the advantage of using the automatic fisherman is that perfect hook set. Yeah, you get the good hook set and you can let these fish go. 
Oh, yeah, man, buddy. I'm stoked. Thank you so much, Jerry. This is yeah, an that. awesome fish. It's kind of a dream fish for me. I mean, yeah, this is yeah. this is really cool. This is what I came out here for, and I'm just glad we were able to put it, put him topside here. I'm so glad that I was able to come down and fish these waters in Wisconsin. This is something that's that's new to me, and I'm glad that I, I took the chance and came down and did this. That's, that's all part of being a fisherman is taking a chance and taking risks and coming out and learning new things. I love to learn things every time that I go out fishing. Yeah, Mike, you know, you know, you said something about how, how do you actually read a river? How do you know where to actually go? You know, you, if you look upstream, you'll see, you know, we're looking upstream right now, and now all the water that you see is going to be coming along the left bank. So now when it comes around that left bank, the left bank is going to be faster current. And browns and steelhead like that fast current, so we'll, we'll put our lines accordingly in that zone of that the faster current. But now, if you look, the river comes and makes a bend out to the left, and then it's going to cross, and then we got a bend down there, bending to the right. So in between here and here, we call it an S-curve. The river is going to cross in the middle of the river system. You drill your holes accordingly, and you look for that current break. You look for that current start, and that's where you can locate these, these rainbows and these browns is right in that current seam. You know, and, and we're fishing, we're fishing fish that are naturally swimming. Right. They'll, a, a rainbow will put 25 miles on in the summertime, in a day. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. About three quarters of the way through the fight with my fish, we heard one of the systems go off and I look over and Bob's running over for a fish. Just a beautiful fish. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> and he ended up catching a really nice female brown too. Look at, congratulations. <laughs> I know you catch tons of these, but to me, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You've been on this river a long time fishing. Mm -hmm. When a guy would come up and do this, I mean, realistic expectations. Obviously, you have many days where you catch multiple fish, a lot of fish. Correct. What is a realistic expectation for somebody coming out here and chasing these trout? Well, if it's your first time and you're out by yourself, uh, it, might, it might be a little tough. But you know, there's fish here. Um, you know, if you if you study the river a little bit and maybe you know talk to some of the guys that fish, I don't know, you, you, and you fish you know all day, you, two three fish is not you know hard to do but not every day i mean it's been cold so it's been tough here the right. last couple of days you know guys one of the things you don't see here you can see us out of breath because <laughs> you can set rods 100 100 yards from where you're camped at and this was one of our furthest rods out and when they go look at the head shakes this thing <laughs> Guys, this is a trip of a lifetime to catch a fish of a lifetime. And I hope watching this episode made you realize that you have to get out and do the trips that you've always wanted to do. Well, when there's a fish on the line, you just There roll. we go, look at that. Double, Double. <laughs> on camera. <laughs> it's just a pure example of getting out, putting the work in, putting the time in, and being successful. Guys, I wish you guys could be here from the moment we start filming these shows to where we're at right now because we are down to the last 20 minutes you know we we put some fish on the ice we we almost weren't gonna fish today yep. uh, persistence 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 pays off stick to your plan stick to the game plans this fish I mean you just never the power of these things is amazing the Brown Slayer, Taylor. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs>
Beautiful spawned out brown. <laughs> Go boys, double. Check it out. <laughs> All right. What a beautiful Look at that. fish. You get to hold yet another one. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. This is where we're gonna end it. Again, we never know where we're gonna be from week to week, but you know one thing, we're gonna be on an adventure, and I hope you're there to watch it. <laughs> Thank you again. It was awesome. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Get this girl back. My favorite thing about Wisconsin, you asked? Cheese, baby. <laughs> We're going to go buy some cheese right now. What's a trip to Wisconsin without cheese? Can you get that out of my face? That's bright.